the self is an elf. It's there, very clearly. The self is an elf. We can drop the S's, we can drop the vowel, we drop left with LF, life. The self is an elf. This is a teaching of the heart. So I want you to listen to it with your heart. I don't want any atheist trolls, you know, saying this is psychotic nonsense. I'm talking about visualization and understanding of your heart. The self is an elf. We have that power of concentration, of imagination, of problem solving. of teleporting ourselves into other situations, visualizing, creating. We are creative, imaginative, magical, luminous beings as elves, ourselves. This is hidden from us because this is in our right hemisphere. We have two selves, one in the right, one in the left. The self is the elf, the original nature, the true nature. The elf, the pygmy, the pisky, the pisky, the little people, our ancestors, our nature, our true nature, our original nature, our creative, imaginative nature. We've got a very, very powerful problem solving creative imagine, imaginative divine nature that is suppressed by our education system and this tyranny. The self is an elf. Only fairy tales come true. Only fairy and the cynics will say, yes of course only fairy tales come true. No, only fairy tales come true. Us, the story of ourselves, of our human lives, is always tragedy and comedy and farce. It's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. Isolation in the dungeon, oppressed, living under some tyrant, some petty tyrant, some bully, some boss, some oppression, some medieval tyranny some ancient blood curdling religions oh trained we are free people trained to be in service to be slaves the self is an elf at the heart we are a divine luminous being and these lives this human life is like a dream a fairy story all sorts of tragedy but eventually we wake up to our divine nature we are asleep we are Prince Charming the awakening, the sleeping beauty, the sleeping beauty of the elf, our true self, the elf within, our magical imaginative powers, our creativity. The imagination. Oh, but we're all unique individuals. Oh, incredible, the power of the imagination to imagine that. The self is an elf. You know, let's take, for example, Cinderella. So there she is amongst the cinders, like we are in this, you know, material life. And then, those magical things around her, you know, the pumpkin, are transformed into objects for her, her carriage 
to the ball, to the great ball of the sky, to meet the prince, Prince Charming, the beloved self, the shining self. And there the objects are at hand. So this is what we have to do. We have to solve the problems with the objects at hand that we have got and transform them. This is what is called making success, successful plans, realistic plans, plans based upon what is available and how it can be transformed. got to use our imaginations and be creative. Now if we meditate, you know, fa let our minds fast so we can turn our minds off, stop the internal dialogue, stop imagining, then we can move on to another dimension. We can then imagine and project ourselves into other situations. If our spirit's negative, we, we can just listen and watch. If we have a positive energy, then we can be seen by others. We can project ourselves into other situations. We are elves. We are magical beings. We are magical beings. Don't we dream of each other? Imagine each other's there suddenly. Spirits, we call them. Just as we are. Projections. Avatars of the shining self. Elves. The elf. The self the sons and daughters of the Most High. So we have to use this power. We have to realize this tragedy of our fairy tale lives and, and stop attaching to the vanity of it, to the celebrity status, to the vanity, you know, tra you know transient friends. You know, we've got to stop listening to the atheist trolls, the nihilists. We've got to stop listening to the religious fanatics. You know, Christians and Muslims and their holy war against each other. We don't want any of that. We're all elves. We aren't these beings we think we are. It's called anthropomorphic imprinting. We get it with owls. You know, they're hatched out by humans, so they think they're humans, so they have to, they have to be kept in captivity. We are hatched out by humans, so, and so we are kept in captivity. We are elves. We are magical, luminous beings. This is freedom of mind, freedom of heart. This is a positive idea of hope, a positive image, a positive creation. Not the negative, this is your one life and then you're dead and then we'll burn you and you know, we might have a natural burial, you know what I mean? What nonsense. This is just a fairy tale. These are the days of oppression, of the tyranny, of the horrors, of the terrors. All in our minds, all brainwashed into our minds, and that's what we must stop. We must stop imagining this terrorist threat. Stop creating terrorist threat from people who have nothing that we are oppressing, that we are bombing, for God's sake, wake up. 
wake up to your true nature. Your true nature. The self is an elf, a magical, luminous being that lives for thousands of years, life after life after life. There are more serious issues. There's more reality, there's a greater world than this oppression, this narrowing, this slavery, this dungeon, this dungeon. You're living in a dungeon. Cry out for help. Dream through the walls. Leave. Use your magical powers to solve your problems, your family's problems, your community's problems. There is a job to be done in your community for its independence, for the protection of its environment, for the repatriation of its land.